79 years ago, Mr. Valente Schwarzer, a teacher of local school, discovered settlement and we, we are going to see the construction of the settlement. Archie teaching, Biskupin Archaeological Settlement in Poland. The Archaeological Open Air Museum Biskupin, Poland, is an archaeological site and a life-size model of an Iron Age fortified settlement in North Central, Wilka Polska, Poland, Kuvian Pomerian Voivodeship. When first discovered, it was thought to be early evidence of Slavic settlement, but archaeologists later confirmed it belonged to the Biskupin group of the Luzatian culture. The excavation and the reconstruction of the prehistoric settlement has played an instrumental part in Polish historical consciousness. The museum is situated in a marshy peninsula in Lake Biskupin, 90 km northeast of Poznan, 8 km south of the small town of Znim. It is a division of the National Museum of Archaeology in Warsaw. In 1933, Polish archaeologists discovered remains of a Bronze Age fort settlement in Wielkopolska, Greater Poland, the discovery became famous overnight. The site was excavated from 1934 onwards by the team from Poznan University, led by archaeologist Joseph Kostrewski, 1885-1969, and Stislaw Hrzewski, 1907-1974. The first report was published in 1936. By the beginning of 1939, 2,500 meter squares had been excavated. Biskupin soon became famous, attracting numerous distinguished guests, including officials of the Pilutski government, members of the military and high churchmen such as the primate of Poland. became part of Polish national consciousness, the symbol of achievements of the Slavonic forebears in prehistoric times. It was called the Polish Pompeii or Polish Arculaneum.
historic fortress, 70 km from the German border, was used to show that the prehistoric Poles had held their own against foreign invaders and plunderers as early as the Iron Age. Biscopin came to feature in paintings and popular novels. When the Germans occupied parts of Poland in the autumn of 1939, Biskupin became part of the Wartegau, an area that German nationalists came to have been Germanic since at least the Iron Age. In 1940, excavations were resumed under the patronage of Heinrich Himmler by the SS Achner, under the supervision of Obstamforher Hans Skleif, a classical archaeologist who was to excavate in Olympia, Greece as well. Schleif published only two short popular accounts that describe how Germanic tribes overran the small Lusatian settlement. The excavations were continued till 1942. When the Germans retreated, the site was flooded, which ironically led to the good preservation of the ancient timbers. Excavations were resumed by Polish archaeologists after the war and continued until 1974. There are two settlement periods at Biskupin, which was located in the middle of a lake but is now situated on a peninsula that follow each other without hiatus. Both settlements were laid out in a, on a rectangular grid with 11 streets that are 3 meters wide. The older settlement from early Iron Age was established on a slightly wet island of over 2 hectares and consisted of uh, 100 oak and pine log houses that are of similar layout and measure 8 times 10 meters each. They consisted of two chambers and an open entrance area. These houses were designed to accommodate 10 to 12 persons. An open hearth was located in the center of the biggest room. There are no larger houses that could indicate social stratification. 
Because of the damp, boggy ground, the streets were covered with wooden planks. The settlement was surrounded by a tall wooden wall, or palisade, set on a rampart made of both wood and earth. The rampart was constructed of oak trunks that form boxes filled with earth. The rampart is more than 450 meters long and accompanied by a wooden breakwater in the lake. 6,000 to 8,000 square meters of wood have been used in the construction of the rampart. <laughs>